common for autistic people to, to struggle with understanding emotions. So I think that you've heard that somewhere mm. and that's where he's gone, oh my God, what if they don't ever really know how much they're loved? And I imagine when you do get those moments of response, you, know, you do get that moment when the penny drops, that must be magical for you when you see them respond to you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And even, you know, all three of my children are different. And like Penelope, my oldest daughter, if she says she loves you, it's like, oh, high five moment. But, but, but yeah. that's because of how she is, her yeah. personality. She's just not naturally a, an out there kind of child. Whereas Felicity and Leo, they're the exact opposite. You know, they'll say it all the time to you. So, you know, it's just kids at the end of the day. Uh, what sort of response have you had from people already? And, and what do you hope people will take away from it's this? It's been so positive, hasn't yeah. it? It's been quite overwhelming. Um, it, it's been amazing for me. I've, from, from when we very first started talking about our children being autistic, I've been inundated with messages, mainly from parents that feel like they've got no one to talk to, mm. no one that understands. And I agree, I think unless you've actually got autistic children, it is hard to truly understand what it is like for us. And again, it's different for every family anyway, but for us, it's been really positive, hasn't it? We're exactly the same as them parents as well. We're still looking for help and, and, mm. and understanding and little things that'll improve our life with the children and what have you. And that was the reason we did the documentary, because we thought, well, if we're sort of, you know, air quotes, celebrities who have a fantastic life are struggling, you know, uh, Putting that on camera, I thought, well, hopefully people will go, oh, God, actually, it's OK to talk about this and everything yeah. else. But we don't have the answers, so that's the only thing with this documentary. We're not doing it in a way like, we'll we'll help you out. We're, we're the same as everyone we're else. We're not experts on yeah. autism, but, we're just but, parents. But also, I'm, I'm sure you've discovered this from doing the documentary as well, it can be really frustrating for so many parents and, and carers because depending on where you live in the country, you can get better access to care, you can get an assessment much Mm. more quickly than well, you can in some other yeah, areas. Well, like a lot of things, uh, which is a shame, it's a postcode lottery. Uh, yeah. Even with diagnosis, you know, some parents, they can be waiting two years. It can be seven years yeah. in some places. I mean, it's uh, that's a massive amount of time for sad. your child not to progress and get the help they need. Mm. And, and, you know, that's got to change, but... Uh, we're looking into that at the minute. I think the more it's known, the more it's talked about, if people understand it, spot it early, like we did with our youngest, because we knew more about autism by the time mm. we had our third child. She was diagnosed quicker and easier because we knew mm. what we were looking for. But if we knew nothing about it, you know, she, she might not have been diagnosed mm. yet. I think um, early intervention is key and it made a huge, huge difference for us. And were you surprised when you were making the documentary? Did you find, you know, just from listening to what you're saying, did you find that maybe some people didn't want to talk about it so much at first and that by talking about it in the open, wing, open yeah. way that you have, you've actually helped people. I think, yeah. I, I'm only speaking as a dad now, mm. I think blokes struggle a bit more. Um, and I did at the beginning, I threw myself into work because I thought, oh, I'm a man, I work, that's what I do, I'll provide for them. Um, but it's not all about that. And I think it's, it's important for dads to sort of not feel bad. Because, mm. you yeah. know, at, right at the beginning, which we talked about in the documentary, I ended up uh, being diagnosed with clinical depression. But I didn't realise that, and it's because I kept so much bottled up. And I got help, and I was like, God, it's the best thing. And the every day now with my kids, it, listen, it's not like a Disney movie where everyone's <laughs> dancing around the ice. <laughs> These days where I'm like, oh, God. But it's so much better now. Right. But it's because I, I started talking about it. Which is, you know, we've said that in all areas of life, it, that makes a difference. You know, of course it it's, does. It's huge, yeah. If you can actually talk to somebody about how you're feeling and then how that, those emotions impact on other people as well, it, it, it makes a huge change for so many. Yeah, definitely. We're just hoping that it helps someone somewhere. That's all we want. <laughs> so we want people to understand our children. I'm sure it will. I'm sure we'll get loads of messages and you'll get plenty of messages after coming on here this morning. If you want to see the full thing, uh, Paddy and Christine McGuinness, it's Our Family and Autism. Uh, Wednesday, this, when, uh, what, it's Wednesday, this Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. And 9 o'clock on BBC One. And if you miss it first time round, you can also catch up on it on the iPlayer. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank, Thank you so on. much. Thank, Thank you. you.